I wrote a book on cross-dressing in Latin American cultures. And it was the first book of its kind. And what got me interested in cross-dressing had very little to do with the actual act of cross-dressing. I was really thinking about it more as a metaphor. Um, many authors have written about cross-dressing as something that we do all the time. Cross-dressing is not just about crossing gender, but cross-dressing could be race. And in my own autobiography, um, uh, it's about cross-dressing class, uh, coming from a working class family to become, uh, to go to an elite Ivy institution. You sort of have to learn new codes and new behaviors. But I became interested in the idea of cross-dressing as the kinds of daily practices that we always go through as to how we have to make adjustments uh, to fit in. So that became my first research project. And it reveals certain very important topics which have, I have now continued in my present research. For instance, uh, the conception of how masculinity and how femininity are defined both in North America and South America. And there's been some really impressive scholarship that really talks about how these different ways of being or ways of thinking about gender uh, happen in the North and the South. And one of the things that I, I was able to do is um, re rethink about what cross-dressing meant in Latin America. It is a culture that is so, that has such prescribed roles for men and for women. You have the notion of machismo, which is this very exaggerated masculinity. Likewise, its counterpart is called Marianismo, which is a, the cult to the Virgin Mary. It's an excessive form of femininity. And the cross-dresser is, is a kind of strange figure in Latin America because what I discovered is to dress like a woman or to be like a woman is a kind of general way of our understanding the cross-dresser. But in Latin America, to be like a woman is also another way of naming the homosexual. So uh, I began looking at this, this kind of strange figure, um, the cross-dresser, and what I discovered very early on is that I was not really just talking about men who take pleasure in putting on women's clothing. I was really talking about men who saw themselves with very limited possibilities to define their homosexuality. And one of the few ways in which they could define their homosexuality is through dress, through this kind of crossing over. The other direction that my project took me in was really trying to understand as how people narrate their sense of gender identity, in other words, masculinity and femininity, and how people narrate their sense of sexual identity, hetero, homo, bi, and so forth. This idea of, say, coming out, which is so common in American culture, uh, actually it's one way of validating yourself to participate in a larger community. This is something that we almost take for granted in the United States, Whereas in many Latin American cultures, this idea of coming out is oftentimes seen with a little bit of skepticism, a little bit of trepidation, if you like. And what I discover is that um, there have been other ways in which people are able to live out their life as a gay or a lesbian without having to declare it.